Hey YouTube, it's Nicole and I'm back at you today with another video. So these are my results, right? Cause everyone's like, oh, what are your results from your wrap? All right, so here's my results from my wrap and my rollers. I have successfully lost 10 pounds. And I know you're probably like, oh, whatever, Nicole, it's just 10 pounds. But let me tell you something. I have been on just about every diet known to man, and I've always lost like between five to seven, but I've never hit that 10 mark. And I mean, this is after months of trying. So this is the first time that I have actually gotten to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm not just gonna do it, but I'm gonna put my all into it because I have to see if I can find some pictures of what I used to look like a few years ago before graduate school. I have gained so much weight and I think part of it was stress. I think 85% of it was stress and then I think a lot of it was just stress eating. So eating as a result of being stressed out. And then I would gain weight, which would make me even more stressed. Just to start off by sort of discussing some of the diets that I've been on in the past. I've done low calorie diet, I've done Weight Watchers, I've done um, different like, I was a vegan for a long time. I thought just eating vegetables would help. It helped, but it caused some problems too. I've done high carb, low fat, I've done high fat, low carb, <laughs> like I've done everything that you could possibly do. One of the things that I've noticed is that when I restrict any sort of food group, let's say it's, I restrict carbohydrates, I do lose weight, but then I hit a plateau. It's really interesting. Or if I restrict fat, I lost weight then too, but then I hit another plateau. If I restrict protein, it does, you know, whatever, animal products, I would always hit a plateau and then I would get frustrated and just go man forget it um, but with portion control I allow myself to have um, the things that I like and the things that I want but not necessarily oh hey Celeste how are you hey. <laughs> but not necessarily a lot of it the salt okay I reduce that I use a lot of um, what I call like seasonings I have different seasoning blends I have wet seasoning blends and dry because I like flavorful food. Hello, I'm from the South. Uh, Louisiana and North Carolina, that's where my family is from. No, I don't play bland food at all. That's for the birds. <laughs> but basically what I've done so far uh, that has helped me to lose 10 pounds and I'm still losing is just portion control. So let me show you some of the things that have allowed me to be very successful with portion control like i said reduce your sugar salt flour get rid of that kind of stuff eat whole foods so what by whole foods i mean if it's a chicken let it be a piece of chicken that you eat like it you can recognize and know that it's a piece of chicken don't get like breaded chicken cutlet patties and all that other stuff that you can't necessarily tell what it is because they're gonna put fillers in that, they're gonna put flour, they're gonna put wheat, it's no bueno. First thing is, okay. You may go, what on earth is that? This is my detox tea. You might go, oh Lord girl, that looks like something else. And it does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but what this is, is I take like a, a huge pitcher and I put green tea, that's why it's got that kind of little offish color lemon and ginger okay so you can take like I don't know maybe three lemons chop them up right into wedges like eight wedges so split it in half and split it in half again you get your eight wedges and then get you some ginger okay some ginger root take the peel off the ginger root clean it wash it because it's gonna go in your drink you don't want anything nasty in there and then um, shred your ginger root or just chop it into big chunks and then put it into your pitcher. I, my pitcher on the top of it has like a little filter option. So, you know, I, when I pour, what I get is the green lemon ginger tea. And I drink this all the time. 
I don't use any fancy cups or anything like that. I basically use, I love using things that I already have. Oh my gosh, let me tell you, I'm addicted to this. So when I get a jar of spaghetti sauce or whatever, I take the label off the can, I put it through the dishwasher, make sure it's nice and clean, and then I just use that, okay? And it's a really good way of gauging. So this is 16 ounces. I already know exactly how much is in this container. And I probably drink two of these a day, and then I and then I drink like four of these of water, okay? So I drink a detox tea in the morning when I first get up, and then I drink one at night before I go to bed. And one of my subscribers was like, wow, what do you do to keep your skin so like nice? And let me tell you something, if you are not hydrating yourself, you are gonna have skin problems. I'm gonna say it again. If you are not hydrating yourself properly, you're gonna have skin problems. Hydrate yourself, okay? I use a piece of ginger the size of my thumb, okay? Use a piece of ginger the size of your thumb. That's what you're gonna need, okay? If you don't like ginger, you can omit the ginger, but I think it's really important, okay? I don't omit the ginger ever. And sometimes if, like I'm in a pinch and I don't have any fresh ginger, then I will use powdered ginger, but I usually boil it then, and then I strain it through a sieve, okay? But yes, so what do you want to do? You wanna drink your green tea, lemon ginger detox tea. so refreshing and the ginger is kind of warm and spicy so it kind of warms you up from the inside it's really it's really really good okay so I'm going to show you some other things that I use for portion control so <clears throat> what I have found is that I am most successful in maintaining or losing weight if I am doing a meal prep and by meal prep I mean I go through and I was gonna film it for you guys this week but my nails look dastardly. I mean, they looked horrible. I've done them now, but before they just kind of looked like, oh hell no. Nah. Ain't no way I'm making a video and showing those nails. Uh -uh. Wasn't gonna happen. What I do is I love all these. Now, I don't know if you have all these where you live. I love Trader Joe's too. Trader Joe's, all these. You just wanna go somewhere where you can get some really good value for your dollar. And I get things like, I'll get like one pack of, like a family pack size of chicken breasts. That will last me an entire week between me and my daughter. And I meal prep for my mom too. So on Sundays, that's meal prep day. That's the day I do my hair. That's why I got roller set Sunday. Like Sunday is the day I just get my life together. And for my meal prep, I basically prep five or six days worth of food. It really depends. And then I put half of it in the freezer and then I keep three days worth of food out. On the third day, I start pulling the food out from the freezer so that it's ready for the next day. I do overnight oats and basically what I, I'm going to do another video, y'all. I'm going to do another video where I basically show you like the food that I eat and go through all of that. But in order to make sure that all of my meal prep is portion controlled i have some tools okay one i have a food scale and i weigh things that's like the best way to do it but sometimes i mean you can't weigh it so i have some other tools that i use okay these are measuring spool spoons i got these from the dollar store you can go to the dollar store and get stuff like this these are measuring cups i don't know if you can see that very well but i just go to the dollar store and get this stuff right the dollar store has containers, it has all of this stuff, and it's one dollar. This is cheap. You do not have to go out and break the bank on any of this stuff. And then I get baggies. I get snack size baggies, and I get these um, larger size baggies. And I'll tell you what I do with those. For my snacks and stuff like that, and for snacks, I mean like carrot sticks, celery sticks, like veggies, basically crudite, like things that you can chop up put into a bag. For snacks, I use these snack size bags, okay? And I'll fill up five bags for the week. That's, you know, basically Monday through Friday. And that eliminates me from one, wanting to go out and get fast food or go out and get fast food for lunch and just go to the naughty places. Even though you can have cheat days, 
Okay, build a cheat day in there if you really need to. But basically stick to your plan. And then sometimes I like to have smoothies. So I use these bags for my smoothies. I know this is so illustrative, sorry. I basically will chop up a banana, my strawberries, or blueberries, raspberries, whatever I want. Um, and then I'll put like a quarter cup of yogurt and a quarter cup of protein powder in here. And I'll stick it in the freezer, okay? Then basically all I have to do is put it into my blender, into my Vitamix, and then add some liquid, like some almond milk or water or something like that. And then I blend it up and it's ready to go. And it's so, so simple. I put my overnight oats in here um, for five days. I put two in the freezer and then I put the other three down. And then I basically have breakfast every morning Number one, you have a hand, okay? Your stomach is about the size of your fist, okay? So when you're making your food, you needed to keep this into consideration that your stomach is only this big, right? The reason why people, I think, get large in the first place is they overeat. Maybe they don't exercise enough. Sometimes you can have medical problems too. Like, I had a really bad medical problem. I had to get on steroids and it made me blow up. I look at the serving size of things. The serving size of, of, of meat is four ounces. It's like the, the size of the, this part of your palm. Okay, it's really small. It's not huge, all right? And it's like the width of your palm. So we're not talking about a huge 16 ounce steak. If you're eating a 16 ounce steak, that is four servings of meat. Who needs that sitting in their gut? Nobody. So I usually, what I do is, I kind of half everything and that gives me some wiggle room and some play if I want to have like a, a smoothie or a dessert later on in the day okay so I will look see what the serving size of something is and then I'll eat like half of that and what's interesting is is I've been able to shrink my stomach so far and I think that is why I have been so successful in losing weight and I don't feel hungry at all which is counterintuitive right and I don't feel hungry because I eat small frequent meals. So I might, my meals in general are less than about 250 calories. And I might have like five of those a day or fewer, depending on how hungry I am. If I am having like, when I portion my dinner out, I use these containers, okay? The bigger the container you use, you're gonna wanna fill it up. So use smaller containers and that will trick your eyes and your mind in, into believing that you're really eating more food than what you're eating, okay? So, for example, a cup of rice, okay, this is a cup measure. So a cup of rice is like one portion or maybe two, I believe. I, no, a cup of rice I believe is one portion. I have a half a cup of rice. Now, the reason why I went to the, oh, sorry, side note, the reason why I went to the dollar store and get these is I have like five, like three or four sets of these, okay? Because I measure everything now and I just portion it all out. I, if I have rice, I have a half a cup of rice. If I have meat, I have about two to three ounces of meat, okay? Um, I've never been a real big meat eater anyway, so that doesn't bother me. And then if I have veggies, now that's different. So a cup of veggies is a serving. I may have two servings of veggies because they fill you up. They have a lot of fiber. So my veggies, I might have two cups of veggies, a quarter cup of meat, and a quarter cup of starch. That's my meal. And it all fits in here really nicely. And these containers are uh, BPA free. You can freeze them, you can microwave them. Yeah, all of that. And from the dollar store, hello, hello. Do it, go, go do that. This one right here, I usually put my dry oatmeal mix in and it kind of fills this up and I'll reconstitute it if needed. So I'll have my lunch and dinner in containers like this where I have two servings of vegetables, okay? So that might be two cups of vegetables. I never get through all the vegetables either. Like hardly ever. Um, I may have one and a half cups of vegetables, 
that I actually eat, but I'll give myself two servings. I'll have like a half a serving of meat, half a serving of starch. And by starch, I don't mean like mashed potatoes and gravy or anything like that. I'm talking about like a sweet potato. I love sweet potato, that's my starch. Or carrots, like that's actually starch. Anything that like, that's tuberous, that grows beneath the ground, is starchy, okay? For snacks, I might have like, I can't eat peanuts and stuff like that because of my braces. So I might have a tablespoon let me show you what a tablespoon looks like, okay, y'all? Uh, because sometimes you'll go into that peanut, peanut butter jar with your tablespoon, and you really pulling out like a quarter of a cup. You ain't pulling out a tablespoon. This is a tablespoon, okay? And I have like one level tablespoon of peanut butter, and I get the snack on that. It tastes delicious. I get like the 100% all natural peanut butter. Nothing that has like more than two ingredients, uh, or one ingredient. Usually I get, it says, peanuts sometimes I can't find like the all-natural one so I'll get the one that says peanuts and maybe salt that's it okay or almond butter anything you like like you want to get treats that you like I do have ice cream but I do get the Briars low carb ice cream and that's my little snacky snacky treat treat and when I have that I will have a quarter of a cup I know it seems really small no I think it's a third of a cup I have a third of a cup of ice cream and I'll just use this scoop and then I'll take like a tablespoon of peanut butter, put it on top, and some um, pumpkin pie spice and oh my god, it's so good. It will relieve you of that little craving, right, that you may have for something sweet. And then you just move on with your day, you move on with your life. So that's basically it. I'm gonna do a meal prep video when I meal prep next Sunday because I'm gonna make sure to have my nails done. Okay, right? I'm gonna do that. And then I will show you basically what I do, like the food that I get, how the portions look. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot of food and initially you're gonna be like, oh my God, because your body's so used to eating so much food. But you know what, honestly guys, if you wanna lose weight, you just gotta stop. I mean, really. You gotta stop lying to yourself. You gotta stop. <laughs> what, is, what there's a saying, you eat in private, but you wear it in public. And you just gotta stop. You have to start loving yourself. You have to start caring about yourself and caring about what you're putting into your body. The, def the definition of food is it's a substance that has nutrition for the body. If you're eating uh, Cheetos, there's no nutrition for your body. Yeah, it's got calories. It's got loaded with fat and nasty things probably, but that's not nut nutritive. It's not gonna sustain you. It's not gonna keep you going. It's gonna keep you going to the doctor. It's gonna keep you going to the emergency room. But you wanna go, you wanna pay yourself with health. Okay, because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. That is something I definitely learned. So I hope these tips help. Like I said, next week I'm gonna do the meal prep video. I'm gonna show you what I do. Basically, I'm gonna try to video diary it. And I thank you for watching. Have a great day too. Bye. <laughs>